This is a very short video answering a very common question that students have. And that question is, when you have longitudinal waves and you represent them on a graph, how do you know where the compressions and rarefractions are? If you've got these longitudinal waves, like sound waves, they also get represented in a mathematical form on graphs where they look transverse. And so where are the compressions and rarefractions of a longitudinal wave when it's got a transverse mathematical representation. And I think it's helpful here to think about, say, a bunch of beads and make the beads connected by little springs so that we can send longitudinal waves through those beads. And we can kind of put this on a graph. We could have the displacement here and the position and this is the case where there's no wave at all right all of these beads are in their equilibrium position so they've all got zero displacement now what i'm going to do is draw some vertical lines down here to remind us where these beads were in equilibrium so now what we're going to do is imagine this transverse representation and, and think about what it means. So let's now imagine what's going to happen to the beads if the wave looks just like this. So for instance right here we've got zero displacement. That means our bead should stay in its equilibrium position at zero. But right here we've got a positive displacement and positive would mean to the right. So our bead should get displaced over here to the right. And this one also a positive displacement, so this one also gets displaced to the right. This one, zero displacement, so it stays right where it is. This one here has a negative displacement, so it's going to get shifted to the left. It's going to shift this way from equilibrium. This one also displaced to the left, a negative displacement, so it's going to be over here somewhere. This one, zero displacement, so this bead stays where it is. And then we're back to a positive displacement. This one gets displaced to the right. And this final one would get displaced to the right as well. So now what we want to notice here is if we look right here, we can see the beads are very close together. This here represents a compression. Beads are close together. You can see there's not much spread in the beads. Whereas right here, you can see that the beads are far apart. So this here would represent a rarefaction. So we can summarize this in general, compressions and rarefactions occur when the displacement is equal to zero. So displacement zero here, displacement zero here. The compressions occur when the slope, see the slope is negative here, when the slope is negative. And of course the rarefactions occur when the slope is positive. So we get a positive slope right here. So compressions where there's negative slope and zero displacement. Rarefractions where there's zero displacement and positive slope. So please take the time to like videos, to make comments, to ask questions, become a subscriber, sign up for notifications, 
become a member or a Patreon. And that's all for today, folks. Thank you very much.